Hey, uh, guys, Stars and Stripes RC with you. Uh, not new to me, or excuse me, not new release, uh, but new to me and new to my channel. I uh, wanted to get the 1100 millimeter uh, P51. I wanted the Blue Thunder, but it's been out of stock forever. And I like the uh, Dago Red, uh, but I like the Voodoo better, so that's what I got. I also got a, uh, again, not, not a new release, but new to me, new to the channel, a 70 millimeter Avanti version 3, which I'll be doing an unboxing and maiden flight video on uh, Saturday or Sunday. This one will actually be a maiden tomorrow, so I'll post that. Um, I'm going to go off the box here, guys. Um, so it features a realistic four-bladed prop on it, um, four tilting landing gear, which is really nice. Uh, kind of helps that from nosing over when you land. Uh, it does have metal trunnion gear. Uh, functional flaps, scale cockpit, engine exhaust, air intake, wing fences, and antenna. Um, this has uh, got the high, high speed system, uh, which is supposed to be uh, at 90 miles an hour on four cell, which I'm going to start out on four cell. I know I've, I've talked to a lot of people about this one, and they, they fly it on six cell, but I'm not going to go straight to six cell on this one. I'm going to kind of take it easy, but it has uh, 80 amp ESC in it, uh, 3948 900 kV motor. Um, just a nice looking plane. I really like the Voodoo. Uh, so let's just, oh, it does call for, by the book, a 4 cell 2600, which I don't have. Uh, so I'll give uh, the Lapiri Air. By RC Battery, the 3300 for sale. And I'll also try the uh, for sale 2200s in it too. So in the box. Off the top, you got your spinner, chrome plated, or whatever you want to call it. It, it. it has the look of chrome to it. Got your four bladed prop, which I do have several spares in case. Got your spar for your elevator. Looking at the wing, it is a one-piece wing. It has nine gram digital metal gear servos on the flaps and ailerons. You'll see the retracts here. Nice touch on all of this stuff. I like the yellow. I like the, the lime green. It will look very nice in the air. On the other side, my wife's favorite color, purple with the yellow sticker number five um the fences go on here they'll, they'll just glue on here but it does have uh some sort of quick connect for the wing if i'm not mistaken we'll look at that closer when i get the fuselage out This is going to be a quick view. Uh, elevator halves, nice color, and I, I really like the, the scheme and the colors on this thing. It has the tongue and groove where when you put it through the fuselage, it'll lock in uh, so that both halves function. Loosen up those uh, foam hinges now. Uh, it does have foam hinges all the way around. Uh, they do have at least back plates on the ailerons. 
uh, for your control horns uh, and do have ball links. Got your screws, prop nuts, and tano, all your goodies there. One thing I'm, oh, here's, I was, I was thinking that these were missing, but you got your uh, wing fences here that'll glue on the tip. Looking at the fuselage underneath, you can see you got your ESC mounted right there. Um, nice, nice colors again. All of this right here is peel and stick stuff. Okay, all your your uh, lines, your your all the decals on here is peel and stick. The green. And the purple is painted. Um, really cool. Can't wait to get it out and made it. It's, it's going to be a, a, a fast one. Looking inside, uh, again, ESC or e, EC5 connector. The uh, throttle does have a reverse, which <clears throat> on this, you don't need a reverse on this, but it is capable. Um, not a whole lot of room. I'll be using the AR620 receiver in this because there's just limited room as far as that goes. Um, so, should be able to get a, a 3300 in there, I'm thinking. But no quick connects. As far as the leads here, they'll just come up through the opening there, straight to your receiver. But that's a quick look, guys, at the FMS 1100mm P51 Voodoo. And uh, be sure and look for my discount codes in the uh, description, as well as a link to RC Battery. Thanks for watching.